Alright, Assalamualaikum and good day to all of you. Uh, my name is Umi Kausun Minti Abdul Karim. Uh, and in this video, I will um, give a lecture about chapter 1, Units of Measurement. Okay, so dalam video ni, saya akan guna mixed language lah. Saya akan cakap English dengan Malay. Uh, okay, so in this video, I will be using a notes that I get from Madam Rosanna Benisali, which is our resource person for CHM131 course code. Okay, so this is the things that you need to know in this chapter. But for the, for the first part of the video, I will explain to you on how to identify the best units of measurement in the metric and SI system of measurement. Okay, so SI unit is the international system of units. Okay, many areas use SI unit whether it is in physics, biology, chemistry or mathematics. And in the table below shows to you some physical quantity and uh, the SI unit used to measure the quantity and also the symbol of the SI unit. Okay, let's say for example length. Okay, kita tahu length, uh, to measure length, we can use a meter, centimeter or millimeter, right? But the SI unit for length is meter, right? And the symbol is small m. And the SI unit for mass is kilogram. SI unit for time is second. SI unit for temperature is Kelvin. And the SI unit for the amount of substance is more. So, amount of substance, um, selalunya so uh, kita guna dalam chemistry lah. Okay. Next is SI derived units, okay, which is a combination of several SI units. So, kalau kita tengok dalam uh, table ni, okay. Uh, to measure area, the unit is square meter, symbol is M square. Volume, cubic meter, m cube. Velocity, meter per second. Okay. Acceleration, meter per second square. Density, kilogram per cubic meter. Current density, ampere per square meter. And specific volume is cubic meter per kilogram. Alright. Next is SI prefixes, okay? Uh, prefix, uh, so what is prefixes, okay? Prefixes is a letter that we put in front of another letter. And a prefix used in the international system uh, is to indicate a power of 10. Okay, so if you can see in the table here, there are some selected prefixes used in the metric system. We have tera, giga, mega, kilo, hecto, deca. Okay, now prefix means that 10 to the power of 0. So the, the value is 1. Okay, deci, centi, milli, micro, nano, pico. And tera, okay, the value, the exponential is 10 to the power of 12. Giga 10 to the power of 9, Mega 10 to the power of 6, Kilo, Hecto dan seterusnya lah. Dia refer. So yang ni, you kena hafal eh. Okay. So a prefix name attached directly to the name of a unit. And a prefix symbol attached directly to the symbol for a unit. Okay. Contoh ni kat sini. Okay. 10 to the power of 3 meter equal to 1000 meter. And 1000 meter equal to 1 kilometer. So, kilo here is the SI prefix. Meter here is the name of the unit. And 1 kilometer, the unit is 1 km. So, K is the prefix symbol. M is the unit. Right, now proceed to the common measurement and conversion. Okay, this is some common units that um, we usually do in lab measurement. Okay, we have length, density, volume and mass. So, kita akan belajar lah cara-cara uh, untuk uh, the main uh, unit conversion dalam length, density, volume dan juga 
mess. Okay, so for the first one, length. Okay, length. The assignment for length is meter. Am I right? But meter is too large for most laboratory purposes. So, centimeter and millimeter are more convenient to use. So, so in general, eh, I think all of you know, 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter, 100 centimeter equal to 1000 millimeter, and 1 centimeter equal to 10 millimeter. But then, ni kalau you hafal boleh lah, tapi uh, what is actually, uh, saya nak ajar kamu cara nak convert unit, okay? Daripada meter ke depada centimeter, uh, centimeter kepada millimeter, and centimeter kepada millimeter, dan seterusnya lah. Okay, so kita nak example. Alright, convert 100 meter to picometer. Okay, uh, so macam ni kalau tak belajar, you boleh tahu lah kan sebab dah biasa. Tiba-tiba dia keluar, so convert kepada picometer, nanometer, kan? So, you masa tu dah jadi susah. So, uh, so this is how you need to learn how to convert the unit. Okay, so 100 meter to one uh, to picometer berapa? So, um, caranya adalah kita pakai, selain orang pakai dimensional analysis. Okay, ni ada dimensional analysis. Um, uh, if the unit, lo kita in the opposite uh, position, maksudnya satu atas satu bawah, the unit can be cancelled out. Okay, konsep dia. So, pico, right? Pico, uh, the exponential value for pico is 10 to the power of negative 12. So, bila you nak uh, tukar meter kepada pico meter, make sure you kena cancel unit meter and masukkan unit pico meter, betul? So, you can buat macam ni lah. So, 100 meter times uh, 1 picometer is equal to 10 to the power of negative 12 meter. So, you settle this one. 100 meter uh, times 1 divided by 10 to the power of negative 12. You will get 1 times 10 to the power of 14 picometer. Okay. So, meter here kita dah boleh potong. So, what they look at in the opposite direction. So, the unit that is being left out, okay, will be the final unit. So, unit yang tertinggal adalah picometer. So, unit I kita adalah picometer. Okay. Okay, never mind. Kalau tak faham lagi, we try another example. Okay. Convert to 10 nanometer to millimeter. Okay, so kat sini, uh, kalau you tengok, kita nak uh, buang un uh, unit nano. Okay, N kan? Kita nak buang N, kita nak masukkan unit milli. Okay, meter here, constant, remain. Okay, so nak you nak buang N, nak masukkan unit milli. So, cara dia adalah, um, kita buat dimension analysis. Okay, buat dimension analysis, you buat table macam ni lah kalau nak senang. Okay, 210 nanometer. Kita nak buang unit nanometer. So, nanometer dekat atas. So, nanometer yang nak buang tu kena, tu lagi unit nanometer kena letak kat bawah lah. Okay. So, 1 nanometer. Nano equal to 10 to the power of negative 9. So, kat sini. 1 times 10 to the power of negative 9. Meter. Yang dua ni remain. Okay. So, you dah boleh cancel nanometer. Okay. Cancel this one out. Cancel this one out. And then, uh, kita nak masukkan unit milli. So, you letak milli dekat atas. And kita tahu, um, 1 milli equal to 1 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Right? So, uh, you settle all this calculation to 1, 0 times 1 uh, exponent negative 9 divided by 1 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Dapat nilai dia. And value unit yang tertinggal. Okay, nano dah cancel. So, unit yang tertinggal adalah milli dengan meter. So, unit tinggal will, will be the final unit. Okay, now proceed to area. Okay, the unit for area is meter square. 
Okay, the most basic area formula is the formula for the area of rectangle. Okay, segi empat tepat ataupun segi empat sama. Formula dia adalah panjang darab lebar. Okay, itu adalah basic. Tapi, um, so that's why lah the, 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 the unit for area is meter square. Tapi, uh, if you want to measure the area for uh, other shape like spheres, um, segi tiga ke apa ke dia punya formula dia lain sikit lah tapi the, the final unit will be a uh, meter square ok so now let's look into how to convert the unit for area ok Com uh, so we try this exercise convert 212 decimeter cube to kilometer Oh, sorry, convert to one to decimeter uh, square to kilometer square. Alright. So, first thing you need to cancel out. Um, DC, alright. D, okay, kena buang D. Dan you kena masukkan kilo. Okay, betul. So, um, buat table macam ni juga. Okay. So, you nak buang DC, you kena tahu lah DC nilai exponential for DC is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 1, betul? So, because this one is decimeter square, so nilai DC yang kat atas ni pun kena square juga. So, 1 times 10 to the power of negative 1, sekurungan square. Okay? So, bila you dah masukkan nilai DC di atas ni, so kita boleh cancel lah decimeter cube ni dengan yang ni. So, tinggal meter cube. So now from meter cube, you nak jadi, sorry, meter square. From meter square, kita, kita nak masukkan unit kilo. So we know that kilo, nak masukkan unit kilo, kena tak kilo ni kat atas lah. K ni kat atas. So kilo is 1 times 10 to the power of 3. Tapi kita kena squarekan juga kilo ni. Okay, sebabnya unit yang sebelum ni adalah, you kena refer unit sebelum ni. Kita nak combine dengan unit yang ada square. Kita nak combine kan kilo ni dengan unit yang ada square. So that's why you kena square kan juga kilo ni. Okay. Kita square kan kilo tu. Alright. So next you settle the calculation. 212 times 1 times 10 to the power of 22. Divide by 1 times 10 to the power of 6. Okay. So, you settle this one, you will get 2.12 times 10 to the power of negative 6 kilometer square. Okay, sebab unit yang tinggal adalah kilometer square. So, final unit will be kilometer square. Okay, so I think uh, that's all for this video. Okay, in the next video, kita akan proceed belajar uh, uh, mengenai unit conversion for volume. And juga density right so that's all thank you